Hey everybody, it is your boy NCSO7 here. Welcome back to another video. Now, I'm gonna guess that most people that watch are watching this video are gamers more than likely. And obviously, as us gamers, we've played and heard about the popular games a lot. And we've obviously like talked about them and whatnot. But there's also probably a couple of games that we've played that aren't as popular and aren't necessarily as well known that we also like to play and talk about as well. But what if I were to tell you that there is one game that is so elusive, so untalked about, that you probably don't even know it's a thing at all. Honestly, most of, almost everyone watching this video probably has absolutely no idea what this game is. And the people that do know about it more than likely know absolutely nothing about it and more than likely just write it off as a kid's game without knowing how good the game really is. What is that game? Snoopy's Grand Adventure. <laughs> yep, that's literally what we're working with today. Snoopy's Grand Adventure. And it, as the name suggests, it's obviously based on the Peanuts, which is like Charlie Brown and stuff like that. And this game was released in 2015 alongside the Peanuts movie, which was actually a pretty good movie, by the way, for being a Peanuts movie. But this game was released alongside it. And even when the game first launched, not a lot of people really talked about it. I, and I can understand why, since it is a kid's game. But let's really talk about this game. Now, keep in mind, this isn't necessarily like a review review. I'm not going to go like super deep into the categories. I'm just going to talk about stuff that I like and stuff that I don't like basically anything that's notable so the first thing i want to talk about is the presentation for the game and how the game looks now it's obviously just a 2.5d platformer nothing really that deep or anything like that but even so keep in mind that the peanuts is mostly popular with two audiences a very young kid audience and also the boomers that watched it when they were kids now, I'm not going to lie. Now, they probably made it more than likely for kids. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. You can even look at the footage and you can kind of tell it's a game made for kids. It's not really that complicated at all. But does complicated necessarily mean that it's a bad game? Well, no. But it doesn't mean it's a good game? Well, no. But I think given the fact that they were aiming the game towards kids, I think it makes a lot of sense for it to be kind of go a little bit more basic. Oh, there is some more to it, but even so, though, I'm getting completely off track. That's for gameplay, but yeah, the game is a 2.5D platformer, but I will say one thing about the presentation. Man, this game actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This game legit looks pretty good. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best looking game ever. It obviously could look a little better, but it looks nice. It's all done in the peanut style, so it kind of feels... It doesn't feel too weird, I guess you could say. It also fits very well with the movie's aesthetic, so it's not really too different from that. So it almost does somewhat, in a way, feel like you're actually playing the movie. Even though you're not. <laughs> you're playing a Snoopy, who's basically, whose goal is to find the missing children, as the children have basically been abducted. Okay, you know what, on a side note, maybe this game really isn't for kids. I don't know, that's... A bit of a dark plotline. Okay, it's actually nowhere near that dark. I just over-exaggerate for no reason. But the story isn't really the main thing. But of course, the gameplay, as with any game. And the gameplay, like I said before, is again in like a 2D platformer. You basically run and jump and hover your way over to the goal. That's basically all there is to it. It's very, very easy. And that's probably the one thing that I think a lot of people don't care for much is that it's very easy. Seriously, this game could probably be beaten in maybe a couple hours at, like, the minimum. I'm not completely sure, though. But even so, though, the game is very easy. Because, mostly because of the fact that when you get take damage, you can actually recollect the heart, basically making it as if nothing happened. Now, I do think this is a stupid idea, I think it would have been a better idea if maybe on, like, your last heart this would happen. But even so, it's not the biggest issue in the world. 
But even so, though, it's, again, it's not really a game that's meant to be hard, but it's more so to be made about collecting. See, there's a bunch of these jelly beans that you can collect within a stage, and there's like a counter, and you can, and you, tr and one of the big goals is to actually collect all of the beans, the beans, and just, <laughs> very simple, collect all the beans in a stage. But there's also a six or so Woodstock tr tr troop scout what things, and essentially you have to go find them. Now, some of them are in places that you can't reach normally, but this is where the one small gimmick comes into place, the costumes. See, there's multiple costumes you can unlock for Snoopy, which allow him to do various things. As if he is in his trooper outfit, well, he has a compass that can detect nearby Woodstock scouts. It can also climb on fences, which is something that normal Snoopy and like some of the other ones can't do. So it does add a little bit of variety there as well. But even so though, I will admit that the game still is pretty easy and kind of mind numbing. Mostly because of the fact that as normal Snoopy, which is what you play as for most of the game, has this ability where it can basically hover with it using his ears. And this hover ability is so broken. It can basically allow you to skip a lot of the stages. It's very broken. But even so though, is that necessarily a bad thing? Is it a bad thing that you could just break the game like that? Well, yes and no. I don't know. I honestly do think this is probably the one thing that people don't like since it does really remove a lot of challenge. But honestly, again, the game was never intended to be challenging since, again, it was made for kids. So, thus, I don't really feel like it's that bad. It fits its job well. But even so, though, I don't know. Also, to, I guess mentioning the music as well, the music in the game is alright. I'm not gonna lie, not a lot of the music is very that memorable. But I will admit, the music does make a lot of sense and it does fit in with the Peanuts aesthetic, so I honestly don't really care. Some of the music is alright. I think the first world theme for like the jungle area is actually not too bad. I think those songs are pretty good. But the, it, it's definitely not like the most grand music ever. But it's still good in its own way, and it fits with the game. And last thing I want to touch on is, of course, the content of the game. And, I mean, <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't necessarily know how much it sold for when it first released, but I can't imagine that much. I mean, hell, I got a copy of the game for Xbox One, like, not even that long after launch, for, like, $10. Granted, it was from a Redbox... Seriously, does anybody even remember that? Does anybody remember Redbox? And I just bought the game from it as well. Honestly, though, it probably would have been a better as better rental since you could, again, beat the game in like a couple hours. <laughs> it's not that long. But even so, though, I still got it, but I did get it recently for PS4, which is the reason I'm making this video. I don't even have an Xbox One anymore. But the game does offer quite a bit of content. I mean, I paid like 20 to $25 for the game, and I think the game has enough content to really suffice. It's not like a really deep game at all, but again, keeping in mind that it was made for kids, it makes a lot of sense that it's not too massive of a game. This is basically just a game that you get your kids who are into Peanuts or aren't into Peanuts and you still just get it for them. <laughs> Even so, though. But yeah, that pretty much t covers all that I really want to talk about in terms of the game-specific stuff. So overall... I still think that Snoopy's Grand Adventure is probably is a pretty good game. Now, don't get me wrong, it is by no means a great game. I think the game definitely has its issues. The game is very, very easy. The game doesn't have a lot of content. There even are occasional frame drops in some levels that it's a little bit annoying. But even so, it's a decent enough game that literally gets no attention. Hell, eventually the game even got stripped away from the online stores, such as the PlayStation Store. You can't get it on there anymore, so you'd have to get a physical version. Now, whether it's licensing issues or whatnot, I don't know. But even so, it does show that a lot of people don't talk about this game. And to be fair, I understand why. Most gamers aren't going to play a game with Peanuts or Snoopy in there. They're not going to play a game like that. Because it's not really that special. And granted, yes, the game isn't that special. But what the game is, it's fun. And that's really all that video games are supposed to be at the end of the day. Fun. And honestly, I don't know. And I don't really... Now, I don't see this game 
getting that much more attention. Not by a long shot, but I do still think that the game is, I don't know. Maybe it'll just be one of those hidden gem sort of situations, though I don't know. But I don't know. That goes over to you guys then. What do you guys think of this game in terms of how it looks? Because I'm going to probably bet that nobody has played this game. Because given how little I hear about this game, I'm going to assume that nobody watching this video has played it at all. If you have played this game and are watching this video, please let me know in the comment section that you have played it and what your thoughts are on it. And if you haven't played it, well, maybe even give it a shot. So do whatever you want. I'm not your mother. <laughs> And if also, if you want to see more videos like this, or even want to see maybe a potential Snoopy's Great Adventure playthrough in the future, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. I literally just teased another one of my projects for 2022. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.